Hi you guys. Uh today in this video I'm going to be showing you some showing you some tips and tricks you can use on your Terraria server. First I'm going to show you how to change your your IP address to a host name. So first thing you're gonna go you're gonna do is go to dyndns.com. That's my preferred host name, but I've heard some others like I don't know, noip.com and stuff like that. First thing you're gonna do is you're going to want to sign in or create an account. I ha already have an account. So I'm just gonna sign in but create an account there. <coughs> Next you're going to go want to go to um my services. And I already have a, a host name selected, but um you're going to want to go to do you want dynamic DNS hosts? Go to that option. Um, it will have this here. I'm just gonna delete this really quick. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're going to click add a new host <coughs> and you're going to type in what you want the people to enter. So uh Eskimo Man ninety seven dot whatever. You can choose any one of these. And that's going to be what people enter for your IP address. So for example mine would be Eskimo Man ninety seven dot DYN DNS dot org. Next thing you're gonna make sure you have host with IP address selected. You're going to enter in that IP address. Uh, you don't need to enter that. <clears throat> you don't need to enter that. And click Add to Cart. Click Proceed to Checkout. Activate Services. And oh, come on. And it will say that your your host name. Now, when you log on to your Terraria server, when someone else logs logs on to your Terraria server, they will enter this uh, this phrase instead of your IP address. So it's much easier to remember. It's much more simple. Next, I'm going to show you how to install server commands. Google T Shop. Oh, my news. T Shop. And you're going to go to tshock.co. Tshock for Terraria. And you are going to go to installing Tshock instructions. Follow these instructions that they've already conveniently listed for you. Make sure you follow all of them exactly or else it won't work. Um, they will help you out on this. I'm not going to go through every single process. I would have to uninstall. All the stuff I would probably have to erase my my world, which I really don't want to do. So um, just follow all of these. Um, verify your account. It will help you with everything. And now you should have something along the lines of a folder of Terraria Server API and a uh, program. Or Terraria Server API. You're gonna run this instead of Terraria Server as you would normally do. <coughs> no, you're always gonna do this if you want to do that. Ah, whatever. Um, so select the world that you want. This is going to be exactly like you would normally do it. Uh, max player, server port, server password, and it's going to look just like that. gonna come up with that. Now I'm gonna open Terraria and it's going to come up with uh, well of course Terraria does. <coughs> I'm gonna go to multiplayer, host and play, select my character, select the same world I selected on this um, and as you can see, it'll tell me 
I that I have joined. My character has joined. Now here I am. You probably recognize this from my other video. And I am I uh, now I have commands. I'm gonna show you an example of some commands. I just spawned the Eater of Worlds. Oh there it is. I just killed the Eater of Worlds. I just spawned the Eater of Worlds six hundred times. I just killed six hundred Eater of Worlds. Game kind of glitches up a little bit when you do that, but it's fun. It can get for some good times. Um, so yeah, there was my tutorial. You're going to run this. Uh, people are going to enter your new host name in instead of your IP address. And uh, thank you. Look at the uh, page, the installing page, and. Just look at T-Shock for more instructions. If you can't find anything there, you can go ahead and shoot me a question. Um, thank you for watching. I'm just going to shut this off. Bye.